<laughs> hey, welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, where we're going to have six times the normal amount of fun because we are playing the Drinking Quest Six Pack. Drinking Quest is a game that we've played on this show before. It's the game of drinking and fun, and right now it would be fun for me to drink a beer. Well, tonight our six-pack that we're drinking is Controlled Chaos IPA from the Surly Brewing Company. From the good folks at Surly? That's a top-notch beer. That is very tasty. That is a balanced IPA. The bitterness is held in check like a strong dog. And uh, I give this the Matt Sloan seal of approval. Whoa! Donk. This episode was sponsored by the makers of Drinking Quest. They are longtime sponsors of this show, and we appreciate it. <laughs> to start the game of Drinking Quest, we are all going to get a character. I'm shuffling the character deck. Think, bank, bonk, bazooey. I'm Sir Hops, a frog that was cursed by a witch and given humanoid form. I'm Terry Flagon Smash. Terry is a drinking god who loves to drink with mortals occasionally. Her tolerance, however, is not godly. I'm Chuglass. Chuglass is a gender swapped version of Chuglocks. Or is Chuglocks a gender swapped version of Chuglass? I am Fran Lightbrew. I'm a paladin who specializes in healing, light beer, and dishing out pain. What you're going to do to start with is you're going to write all of your attributes on your character sheet. And each character also has a signature drink. Mine is the Lord of Light Beer. Play before picking up a quest card. Fran prays to the Lord of Light Beer and heals herself by three hit points. Mine's the Dark and Froggy. Usable once per quest. Sir Hops mixes a crazy drink and doesn't know what will happen. Roll a d4 and apply the effect. I like that a lot. You all have a starting weapon as well, and you can get yes. the information about that weapon from this card. So you can take a look at that. I have a bottle opener sword, which deals d6 damage. Me too! Me too. I've got a flaccid axe. Okay, so we're ready to start. This is it's really hoppy, this beer. Is. It is very hoppy yeah. after you drink a little bit more. It's extremely hoppy. So the person who goes first is whoever most recently described something as hoppy. Wow. That's kind of a bit. I, and I said it, and then you repeated it. You were just yep. trying to trump me and <laughs> cheating. During your turn, you may visit the shop if you like. And purchase whatever you like. I don't know that we start with any gold. I like didn't it. see any gold. We'd probably no. have to come home back. And draw a quest card. And you just do whatever the quest card says. We're going to start with quest one, the low-level forest. Hungover goblin. You see a hungover goblin shamble out from under a pile of leaves. He attacks you with all the strength he can muster. Okay, so I am engaging in combat. Okay. So we're going to each roll a six-sided to see who attacks okay. first. I rolled a six. One. One. Yeah, I'm yes. hungover. I've Kill had her. too much to drink. <laughs> Goblin's well, like 93 years old. I, you people moving in to our huts, <laughs> taking our jobs. I used my last coin to buy a brewski. All right, can you kill this goblin quickly? Oh, no. <laughs> That's a three. Yeah. Uh, does the goblin have any sort of, like, armor? Or no, no armor. All right, so the hungover goblin has been dispatched. It sure has, thank oh, God. And now I get nothing? 15 gold. That's what 15 looks like. gold? Looks like he had 15 Dude. gold. Oh, man. I'm living the high life already. Oh, I also gain experience points, which is one. Yeah, and that's what you need to win the game. How much experience do you need to win the game? Do you know offhand? The most. Shit, man. I'm doing it right. I'm doing something right. All right, cool. That turn was three hours long. Let's do another one. Awesome. Uh, oh my god, grumpy for the pants? Next, for the next three hours, uh, Terry will be undergoing her first quest as well in the low-level forest. You got bellowed. One of your companions has hidden a bellow ale in your satchel. As per the bellow code, your hero bends on one knee and chugs it immediately. Roll a saving throw for tolerance. For a saving throw, you look at your rating, you roll all three dice, and you have to roll lower than that rating. Uh, my tolerance oh. is five currently. Oh, you're in trouble. That's gonna be an 11. Oh, I failed. Uh, I feel burpy and lose two hit points. So I'm down to eight hit points. How does the camera see it? 
Oh, sorry. That okay. Never mind. We don't really need to consult this. This is just like a fun thing to have. True. Well, wait. Do, if you had started out here, then I'll just leave it there. Continuity. Yeah. Look it up. Loser. Yeah, look it up, loser. <laughs> more like, continuity. More God. like continuity. Now we gotta start over. Ooh, sexism. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Thank you very sexism. much. Don't def sexism. Don't deflect. Sexism. Cancel this man. You're canceled! Yes! Now I can sell things on eBay. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's my backup plan for if I ever get canceled. I'm just going to sell stuff on eBay. If I get canceled, I'll, I'll sell things on Etsy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chuglass, she runs into the cool quest bro. A bro goblin challenges you to a flisbee competition. He's trying to impress the local lady goblins with low self-esteem. Roll a saving throw for sexual prowess. Roll a saving throw, bro. Seven. Seven. Fourteen is my sexual prowess. Oh my god. Woo. Well, the goblin ladies are impressed and increase a saving throw of your choice by two. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. Which one are you going to choose? The weakest? Might, might want to cho choose the lowest one. You can't gonna, tell me what you She's going to be all choose. over tens. Jesus Christ, she's belligerent tonight. <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> Etsy, here I come. <laughs> I'd much rather have an Etsy shop than do this shit. Do you have an Etsy? Yeah. Do you sell things on eBay? Mm-mm. Do you have a Facebook account? No, I don't. <laughs> MySpace? Yeah. No, well, I did. Do you have a live journal? No. Back in the day? Do you have a blog spot? No, I didn't. Do you have an Earthlink account? Do you have an Angel Fire? <laughs> no. GeoCities page? No, Lycos? Do you no. use Ask Jeeves? AOL? No, I used to. We're having a fun time playing Drinking Quest. The six pack game, and you can get a copy of this for yourself at drinkingquest.com slash games. Let's see what else the low level forest has in store for Fran Lightbrew. Weak ass goblin ale. This is probably the worst beer you've ever tried. Roll a saving throw for smarts to see if you can convince the bartender to give you a new one free of charge. Bert. My smarts is tense. Fail. Yes. Uh. Success, you get one free bellow ale to be added to your character sheet. A bellow what? ale. A bellow oh. ale, you guys. A bellow ale. Restores bellow. one D6 hit points at time of death to continue battle and avoid chugging. Terry is going to travel back into the low level forest where she finds some booze hounds. Smelling delicious hops and other fresh ingredients from your hometown of Tipler's Hollow, the booze hounds give chase. Time to fight some dogs. Can I fight that dog? dog. Fight, fight that, that dog. dog. Fight that dog. Fight that dog. Curses. Can I fight that dog? Fight that dog. The dog no. is still first. It was done. You can go to sleep. <laughs> no. All right. I can't go to sleep till I get. Can't get, 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 get. Okay, the Booze Hounds have an armor of two. You are straight screwed, my friend. Ready for this? Let's do it. The Booze Dogs, they get you. They do the D4 plus one damage. <laughs> they got three damage. Uh, what are you at? I'm down to five hit points. So give me four. Two damage. You All did right. not kill them. They get an additional attack on you. The attack does four. Oh, he's down to one. Wow. <laughs> You did it. Yay! Yay! You get 50 gold and two experience points. I killed some dogs. So now you're not a piece of shit anymore. I used to be a piece of shit. Slick bag hair, sloppy steaks. Ran into Orc Brigand. Bagrak is the leader of the organized crime element. Wait, wait, you're struggling here. Let me, let me take over. <laughs> I read exactly what was on the card, he's, he's, sir. He's mansplaining. <laughs> You're canceled again! After refusing to pay him money for protection, he tries to give you a beating worthy of being protected from. That's a six. That's a two. Oh, yeah. Give him the D4. Ah! Done it. What the it? orc brigand, as it was pronounced, brigand? is going to do D4 plus two damage to you. Here we go. I'm going to do the classic D4 flip. Classic. D4 flip. Is that supposed to be impressive? No, because okay. nothing impresses you. <laughs> that is going to be four points of damage. 
to you, little lady. This is a temporary hit point. Yeah, you put it over in the I temporary think you one. don't need to tell. I'm I made the same mistake, and I loved pointing woman. it out for someone else, because then I felt better. Yeah. Oh, one no. damage. Are you serious? Oh. He's got a shield of two. You did nothing. You did nothing to the orc brigand. Here we go again. It's at you. That's going to be <laughs> six points of damage. I'm dead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> If you get killed, you don't die. You just have to chug the rest of your drink, and then you get restored to full hit points. All right, yeah. chug, chug, chug that shit. Okay. Chug it. Chug. Chug it. Chug it. Chug it. Chug it. Chug it in. Chug it in. Oh, uh, chug it. Yeah. Ooh, chug it. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Watch no. me chug it, Danny. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lunch break goblin. You see a determined goblin eating a hock of ham. Looks pretty good. You try to steal it. He's much fiercer than he looks as he tries to protect his delicious lunch during his 15-minute unpaid break. Yeah, why are you fucking interrupting this? Because I want to kill this goblin on his lunch break. I don't care about his job. I want his money and his ham. He has six health. I'm dead. He's probably got low blood sugar right now, so it's easier to fight him. Oh, I'm so dead. If I could ever make any money. Oh, yeah. my God, I got initiative. All right, I did two, one damage to the lunch break goblin. Yeah. Now it's time for me to use my dark and froggy signature drink. I'm gonna roll a d4 and see what I get. Two, heal everyone else two hit points. Yay! You get nothing! Yeah, right? No. Oh, no, no. I just dealt four more damage to you. Dead. You dead! Okay, we're moving on to quest number two, Mount Ice Fist. I made a mysterious stranger. Enjoying a few drinks at an inn, you strike up a conversation with a bandled up old man. Roll a saving throw for smarts. Pour down your pants. <laughs> nope. You must chug your drink immediately to gain courage for small talk. There's a friggin' moonshine dragon, and Terry Flag and Smash is about to fight this thing. Shooting down from the sky, a mighty moonshine dragon descends upon you. Blowing its ice breath, it chills all the bellow ale in your possession, doubling their healing power. Too bad I don't have any. Mm. This is a nice bonus before it attacks you with unrelenting dragon force. And the fucking song, uh, Through the Fire and Flame starts playing. Welcome to the jungle! <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Through the fire and flame, <laughs> you're gonna get everything you want, but you better not take it from me. Wow! Welcome in the jungle. To the jungle. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the jungle. jungle. Be, be? I'm gonna fill you with fire and flame, <laughs> fire and flame. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that is a better song than both of those songs. <laughs> uh, that's five. Nope. I mean, well, two damage. Two. <laughs> Four. Minus one is three. All right, how you doing? I'm down to seven HP. Moonshine Dragon's down four. Moonshine Dragon hit to a three. So two more damage to me, so I have five HP. Okay, then. you could do this. You could actually do this. Eat my flaccid axe. And that's four more. That's uh, one. One damage to you total. Uh, down to four. Yep, he's dead. Yeah! Oh! Incredible, you killed the Moonshine Dragon. You get 120 gold, four experience points. You are put under a spell and lured into a cave by Ooh. a snow witch. Ooh. Roll a saving throw for sexual prowess. Good thing I know my way around the sheets. Wow, I can't believe the snow witch is and trying to them. get with you. I'm, I beat it. Damn. Nice. Wow. This actually turned out to be a lot of fun. She blesses your current weapon with an additional plus one to attack. Ooh. Elaine fucks. Beer thief, you wake up in the middle of the night craving a beer. Roll the saving Amen. throw for self-worth. 610, yeah! You find a burglar trying to steal your beer, you end up robbing him and gain 50 coins. Ha ha ha! Whoa! Beer Thank thief you. gets fucked. Beer thief gets fucked. Beer thief needs fuck bad. <laughs> beer thief is bad fuck. Beer thief fucks feels bad. Oh no! Thief fucks beer. Bad? Not as good as cream soda. No. And I speak from experience. Oh no. Because I tapped that shit. Do you cut a hole in the can nope. and then fuck No, he cheese. poured it on ice and then fucked the glass of, of soda and ice. This is a real thing that happened. <laughs> no, I did not fuck oh, it. Yeah, he did. You fucked did you tried to fuck glass it. with ice? He did. <laughs> this so is 
a real story. Media. Yeah, put that on your social media. It was just a curious <laughs> moment. A curious. You were just moment. like, can I put my dick in this? No, I didn't say can I. I just did it. I didn't question. Can it. I, I can? Ask he said. For permission from course, the cream soda. No. no. Can I put my dick? Put my dick. Put my dick. I can't go to sleep till I put my dick. I can't go to sleep till I fuck that cream. Oh no. So we had a fun time playing Drinking Quest. We're out of time. We didn't quite get to the end of the game, but we want to point out that there is a final boss deck. There are some uh, crazy monsters that you face at the end of the quest. Some examples of that are three sentient sausages in a trench coat. That's We've got awesome. The Liquor Man, which was a which is a whimsical take on the Wicker Man. Oh, that's good. Uh, and Clifford the Big Red Booze Hound. Everyone's favorite kaiju. And of course, <laughs> unsexy Cthulhu. Drink it quest! Ah!